the first thing to be to begin with is to be present in the now so to sort of disengage yourself from your thoughts from your worries from other preoccupations of the mind and also to be fully present in your body wherever you are let let everything around you and that you are in touch with become fully conscious of it pay attention to where you are and bring yourself fully into the present moment be conscious of the fragrance around you take a deep breath in and a deep breath out slowly as consciously as you can so relax your feet relax your ankles relax your legs your knees your thighs let them sit fully on the ground on the earth be alert in your mind be in the present be conscious of your body be conscious of your breath relax your lower back totally relax your spine let all the tension all the worries ebb away relax your shoulders and your arms and your hands relax your neck relax the muscles in your face relax your forehead let all the worries let all the tension everything flow away relax your eyes relax your eyelids let them sit gently and without tension relax the crown of your head the back of your neck and be fully present in the now and with each breath that you breathe in breathe in peace and breathe out peace breathe in peace and light into your mind and into your cells of your body and breathe out peace and light peace calm sit as still as you can like a statue with no movement 
just totally present, breathing in peace and breathing out peace. Let your breath be filled with peace. Let your mind and your body be filled with the consciousness of peace and light. Call in peace into the cells of your mind. Peace. 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 Calm. And now let us do one minute of concentration. Sitting still, see how still you can sit without movement anywhere.
keeping your attention within yourself. Keep your concentration in the center of your chest, deep in the center of your being. Or if you can't do that, then you can keep your concentration between your eyebrows, in the center of the forehead, whichever is easier, center of the chest, deep in the heart center, or between the eyebrows. Keep that inner concentration. Absolutely sit immobile like a statue. And imagine, visualize that there is a flame, a light in the center of your being. Imagine a light that you can feel, you can see, and concentrate on that light if you can see it. And let that inner Agni, that light, grow higher and higher with your aspiration. Your aspiration for light, your aspiration for love, your aspiration for the divine. See if you can imagine this light and concentrate your energy, your consciousness on it and let it grow higher and higher until your entire being is filled with light and it spreads higher and higher above you, around you. You are aware of everything around you. You are aware of the rain, you are aware of each and every sound. And yet you are deeply concentrated within yourself. Totally with yourself. Give yourself this time and space to be with yourself. And when you feel ready, you may open your eyes. But keep your concentration within. There is an inner listening that listens from within. When you are deep within yourself and yet you are aware of the sounds, your eyes see the beauty around you, but you are so still and your concentration is so deeply within. 
that it hears differently, it sees differently, it feels differently. You feel at peace with yourself. You can feel the light and energy of your consciousness. All sounds, within or without, nothing disturbs you. You listen and yet you are disengaged. You are aware and yet you are detached. This state is what is called going within. It is a stage in meditation, one of the important stages in meditation. And this kind of meditation, living from within, is most useful in life. Even when you're with people, even when you're working, even when you're talking, if some part of your consciousness you can keep centered within you, in the center of your being, detached. And the other part of your consciousness can do its work, can talk, can mingle, then you will have a great mastery over your nature and a kind of wisdom and consciousness begin to dawn. This in the Upanishads is called the dual consciousness, the consciousness of the witness and the player, the actor. And it is through meditation that this consciousness can become more and more active. It is what the mother, when she spoke of in her writings and to the children of the school, she used to say, learn to talk from within, learn to act from within, learn to live within, it doesn't mean that you become unconscious of what is happening around you. It doesn't mean that you just disappear into another world or a samadhi. It means that some part of your consciousness is deeply rooted within yourself. And the other part is conscious and aware of all that is around you. And you can do that through your breath, through calling in peace and calm into the cells of your body. You can do that by just sitting still 
like a statue. You can also do that through concentrating within yourself, visualizing a light in your being, a flame, And then as we concentrate deeper and deeper within ourselves, we may also get the sense that this body is a field of energy. See if you can feel that, that your body is porous, that it's actually a field of light. Your subtle body, not your physical body, your subtle body that surrounds the physical body that is within and without and actually is your real body. If you can come in touch with your subtle body, you will feel it like an energy of light, like a kind of field of energy and of light. See if you can feel that. Some of you may be able to even see the color of the aura of your subtle body. Some of you may be able to feel its energy, softness, its porousness. Experience your entire being from top to bottom as a field of energy, as a field of light. Call in the divine light, call in the divine presence into the mind and into the body, into the cells of the body, in the subtle and the physical, in the sukshma and the sharira and the sthula. What is meditation? You can keep your eyes closed or you can keep your eyes open. But listen from your heart, listen from your inner being. You will understand better and you will understand beyond my words something that will flow into your being. What is meditation? Meditation is when you come in touch with your inner being. When you come in touch with the essence of yourself, the presence within you. When you feel yourself filled with the presence, when you are totally at peace with yourself, when your mind becomes quiet and still, 
your body still and quiet. And the focus of your attention moves within. And that is why they say, if you want to grow spiritually, for the growth of your consciousness, for the growth of the psychic being in you, for the growth of the soul within you, meditation and concentration are necessary. Concentration is a deeper form of meditation. It is when you gather your entire being, all its attention and consciousness and threads of your consciousness, and you concentrate and place them in one movement, whether it's a concentration on the Divine Mother or a concentration in the center of your heart and chest. But when you concentrate all your energies into one place or one idea or one aspiration, then it becomes from a meditation into a concentration. While one can meditate on various ideas, meditation can be a more diffuse state. Concentration, by its very name, is a more compact and concentrated state. There are various kinds of meditation. There is the meditation that brings you in touch with the aim of your life. There is a meditation for knowledge. There is a meditation or a concentration for peace. There is a meditation on a mantra or a sound like Om. There is a meditation that takes you into another sphere which you call a samadhi. There are various kinds of meditation, numerous, and each one has to find which one suits him or her most. What is the need in your being? But the one meditation that is most useful 
is a meditation that keeps you in touch with life, where you can work, act, speak, do whatever you do every day, but do it in a poised state. That meditation is what we began with, the witness consciousness within, the awareness all around one. That is a meditation for life, in life, a developing of an inner poise. This development of an inner poise is critical if we want to lead our lives in a balanced, harmonious, way without getting tired, without saying things we regret, without doing unnecessary things. And then there is a meditation with music. Which can bring you into the inner realms. And a meditation that can get rid of all those traits in one's nature that one wants to get rid of. Anger, irritation, impatience. So these are all different kinds of meditations. But I wanted you to start with this simple experience of being here and being with yourself. 